Okay, today we'll be discussing about uh, an important topic which is uh, the suspension of class or withdrawal of class. Uh, now, as the name says, suspension of class is temporary in nature, whereas withdrawal of class is something permanent. Now, we'll be knowing the various reasons for suspension of class as well as withdrawal of class. Coming to the suspension of class, uh, the most important reason is uh, sus of a suspension of class is wherein the owner fails to call the surveyor when he detects a major damage which is against the requirements of the class. Also, uh, when an owner considers uh, or the owner has actually carried out a major repair, a convergence or uh, convergence and has not uh, informed the surveyor to attend the, the repair activity or has, uh, has called a uh, surveyor uh, at the at the repair activity, but the survey it, but the repair activity is not as per the uh, expectations of the attending survey. The other reason that we can think of is uh, no, the non-compliance with the class notations. Uh, for this, I can give an example wherein a vessel is uh, is not ice class. Let us say if you look at the class register of a, a, a class survey status of a vessel. And it is found that the vessel is not having a ice class notation. But tomorrow, the, sur uh, the, the classification society comes to know that it is trading somewhere in the Antarctic. So, in this case, the uh, the society has the right to suspend the class. The other reason may be uh, okay. We all know that there is a freeboard requirement. There is a minimum freeboard and the maximum freeboard requirement. And it is found that the vessel is not adhering to the freeboard requirements. Even in that case. The, uh, the classification society has a right to suspend the uh, suspend the class. Now there is uh, something known as automatic suspension of class. When does this happen? Okay, uh, this mostly happens during an annual survey. The surveyor finds that uh, one or many surveys is uh, is overdue and he is not in a position to give. Uh, any uh, window period for uh, the owner to carry out that survey. The other reason is during the very annual survey, the surveyor comes to know that there are many CSM items which are due. Uh, even in that case, there is an automatic suspension of class. The third reason, which uh, the, the third reason is, uh, there is a recommendation of class or uh, uh, condition of condition of class. There is a recommendation or a condition of class on the vessel and the, uh, the vessel is found not to have complied uh, within the stipulated period of time. Uh, the other reason uh, is that uh, this can be a commercial reason wherein the owner has failed to present his vessel for a survey because of some financial reasons and he has not paid the required uh, the service as well as the survey, survey fees uh, within the, the time period as requested by the uh, classification society now uh, now with the uh, apart from suspension of class there is something known as a total withdrawal of class now when does a withdrawal of class happen withdrawal of class happens when there is a suspension of class for more than six months of time now for for various reasons which I've just mentioned if there is a suspension of class for more than six months it is the vessel is deemed to have been withdrawn the other reason is the owner himself has requested for suspension of class. Uh, reason may be he has sold it to a new owner and the, own, the new owner doesn't want to retain the same classification society. He wants to change over to another one. Uh, the other reason is owner has reported the loss of ship, uh, which is very possible. Uh, it, the vessel must have uh, sunk somewhere uh, in the, in the mid-sea. So he has reported a loss of ship. Uh, the, other reason is vessel. Uh, the owner has reported that the vessel has been scrapped. Uh, there can also be a reason. Where, uh, there can also be a possibility where the owner has uh, reported that due to financial reasons uh, he does not want to uh, carry out the major repairs and is not in a position to uh, trade the vessel. So that can also be a reason. Now the last thing which we need to do is which we need to know is after the withdrawal of class. What are the actions actions being taken by the, uh, the the classification society? The first thing is he reports the uh, the class withdrawal to the flag administration. 
he also uh, informs it to the owner of the vessel he inf informs it to the the pni club uh, he uh, he publishes the list of vessels which have undergone the class withdrawal in his website 